Clara from Spire Laser. Have you ever burned the nozzles? Why it happens? Let's talk about it. For Faber Laser carting machine, the nozzle plays an important role. Number one, it collects the capacitance signal and transmits it to the signal processor through the ceramic ring, so as to keep the distance tracking of the laser hide to the workpiece. Number two, get the auxiliary gas to pass through. Number three. Gas pressure is formed at the nozzle outlet to speed up the cutting, take away the slacks, and protect the inner lenses of the cutting head. Let's imagine the needle is the laser beam. To ensure the cutting quality, the nozzle should be perfectly coaxial concentric with the laser beam. If the nozzle is not coaxial with the laser beam, it will influence the cutting result directly and increase the maintenance cost. The thicker the cutting mantle, the larger the influence. Number one, the laser beam hits the inner corn of the nozzle and burns it directly. Number two, it's easy to have inconsistency in the effects of the four sections. Some have bright surface, some have thicker strips, and even slack or continual cutting. Number three, gas will be unstable, and the molten slacks cannot be blown away completely, which lead possible burns on a nozzle. Due to the concentric importance. It's necessary to make some adjustments after we replace each nozzle. Here we'll introduce the basic steps to find the concentric between the nozzle and the laser beam. It's better to use a smaller nozzle. The smaller the nozzle, the less the deviation, and the easier to find the center. The nozzle in the video is a 1.5 mm single nozzle. First, after installation the nozzle, we need to calibrate. Please put a mental plate under the cutting head. Let's click here for calibrating. Tick yes, and the cutting head will get calibration automatically. Then we find more to confirm the focus position is at zero and all parameters are set proper. We suggest the spot power is around 500 watt. The machine power in the video is 3000 watt, so here we set it to 20%, which will be around 600 watt for spot power. The point shot peak frequency is less than 500. Click shutter to make the right indicator disappear, run laser. When we confirm there is laser beam, we need to make the right indicator back. We need to find a piece of tape and put it under the nozzle. Please try to press the tape to the nozzle a little, shutter and laser, and then shutter again. Let's take the tape off and check the marks. We can see there is a circle and a burnt spot in it. What we need to check here is to confirm whether the spot is in the very center of the circle. The third, when the spot is in the perfect center of the circle, it's good. We can continue cutting. If not, we need adjust. Let's find the corresponding two spots above. Right one is for X and left is for Y. We need to make the adjustment slowly and repeat the second step. The nozzle is a key consumable for fiber laser carting machine. If you are looking for the nozzles, you can click the link in the description below to get more. Do you have another issues on the laser machines? You can write it down in the comment below. We'll reply you soon. 
Thank you so much for joining me here today and please subscribe me here, here and see, I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. Bye!